to work out the cost in terms of economics, <coughs> politics, and nervous energy of owning, or actually owning an alliance. Without realizing, Mr. B.S. followed the advice of President Lyndon Johnson, who said, apropos FBI Chief Edgar Hoover, it's probably better to have him inside the tent pissing out than outside the tent pissing in. <laughs> <laughs> that explains his contemptuous, uh, contemptuous expulsion of Gianfranco Fini, co-founder of the People of Freedom Party, in 2010, after 16 years inside the tent, Fini dared to leave without indicating which way he would be pointing. <laughs> the Palio Factor. You have probably, you've probably heard about the Palio horse race in Siena. Winning is a huge source of satisfaction for the Contrade, the districts that take part. But there is an equally great source of satisfaction, watching your arch rival district lose. Lots of things work like that in Italy, from geography to industry, culture, administration, the professions and sports. Lazio fans were delighted to lose to Inter Milan to prevent Roma from winning the Scudetto. <laughs> Politics is no exception. Of course, tribal loyalties are not tactical, they are instinctive. To keep the left, they perceive it as unreliable, out of power, many Italians would have voted for the devil. Now Mr. B can be pretty diabolical, but Il Diavolo's style is something else. Any questions? <laughs> goes on and for each factor there are 20 pages. So it's a short book. I worked a lot and everything I say has been double checked, treble checked and, uh, and also there is a, fa a fantastic iPad application. And, uh, no, which is great. It's the first of its kind in Italy uh, and I think not only in Italy but in Italy for sure. You, it's an iPad application. You can read the book so I hope you like it just the way it's written but everything I say is there are little icons so there are videos that have been imported already. So you read it and something is, I, I can't believe he said that. Bang, done. <laughs> <laughs> and, also, and also an iPhone application. An iPhone and an iPad application. They work, well, worked a lot. I gave, I gave them a lot of notes. So all the research I'd done, I transferred and they did some extra. So it's, it's great. And it's important. The book also is full of notes. The end of it, you, you have probably 15 pages of, so you can check everything. It's important because on this very subject, one of the problems, I think it was theirs at some point, amnesia. Not only he has technical amnesia, we all have. People tend to forget. All political discussion in Italy is, oh, it's not true. And uh, sometimes, and that is crucial, and I know that some people me for sure, but even some Italians in this room today have felt uh, this the disagio, this, the, the, the unease of talking about this, some, some of the things that happened. We laughed, but in a way, some of the things that happened, including recently, I'm afraid, blasphemy, it's a fact, and other things, uh, we don't like. And I think we, there is a kind of denial of people who do not vote, do not particularly appreciate, but if you are Italian, you feel that. But I think if you want to look, I, I, if, you are, if you despise the subject of my book, don't read this book, because there in, in the, the whole book, there isn't a single offensive word, it's fact. Quick is uh, Nicolò, e to style, like Inter Milan, e to, due passaggi in porta. I don't play around, I just go straight to the point, but I don't use expression like you take many Italian uh, editorial writer on the left, they use expression like the grave of democracy, this grotesque dictators. You'll never find a single word like that. He won the election. He may win again. He's our prime minister. I call him my prime minister. The majority of Italians, thanks to it, the electoral law is part of it but it's not the only reason we wouldn't be here to talk about it. 
So I think you'll get from what I read what the book is about. I think I, it's long enough. Uh, thank you. I won't go away because I think it's unfair. You came all this way. If you have uh, questions, I'll be happy to, to try to answer. Now we can talk. Can I repeat your, your question? Uh, he has no. The question is, uh, do I have any idea how he views me? I think he thinks I'm irrelevant, <laughs> and uh, I think the he he said several times that uh, that uh, the editor of TG4 Emilio Fede is the a shining example of journalism. Uh, <laughs> so I think it's, uh, um, we, Emilio Fede and I are very different. And so I, and so all politicians, all politicians moan about the press. They don't like their critics. I remember visiting Prodi Palazzo Chigi, I was writing for The Economist, once told me, Severnini, lei e i suoi due giornali, two newspapers, Economist and Corriere della Sera. According to him, they were, saying terrible things, which I don't think was particularly the case, but they all do it. Uh, Mr. Berlusconi even more than that. But I said before, I think he, th I, he I suspect he thinks I'm irrelevant. Actually, I know. Because in 2001, he visited Corriere della Sera, and I was part of the panel welcoming him, and I asked him questions before the election, and I walked out with him. I don't know him well, I met him a couple of times before in 94 and 97, that was 2001. And, uh, and I asked him, well, why do you seem totally uninterested in uh, sort of talking to the people who are not obvious, not to me, but to cre your critic, you cannot be labeled as your left. You know, it's happened with Saviano. Saviano has been handed over to the left. Saviano is not a, left, a, a lefty in the classical sense. Not that to be a lefty is perfectly okay. Many of my friends are, some are not. But it's but Kavian is not one. So he had over a lot of people, not to the left, but basically he couldn't care less. Saviano is a superstar, and it's uh, I can think I'm a superstar only tonight, looking at this wonderful room, but I'm not. But in 2001, walking out, he told me that quite sort of in a not in an aggressive way. Voi giornalisti, voi contacted Polk. <laughs> <laughs> and it was you writers, you editorial comment, you don't you don't matter. And he's absolutely right. Because we are belong, read, listen, talk to the five million club. <laughs> Last time in February, February fourth, someone stood up and said that the Truman factor is the answer to it all. All the others are irrelevant. I believe they're all. But I, I, I admit that the Truman factor is important. And if someone of the, of the government would be sitting here, Gaspari once told me on television, said, oh, Severini, look, Ballarò, centro-sinistra, Santoro, sinistra, uh, Dandini, sinistra. He may be right, but the point is they all talk to the five million club. What matters is, is news bulletins, what T. June has been doing lately, it's extraordinary. <coughs> I can give you examples. 